Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. So I got my remote winch kit in today. Yeah! Okay, I ordered this from wish.com. It was like 20 or 25 bucks and a couple of bucks for shipping. I actually showed up a little earlier than expected, which was great too. Sometimes it does, sometimes it takes six months. Who knows? It depends, you know? What I'm not impressed with right away though, I'll tell you, this is a test and review, um, is the fact that the battery that came with the remote was dead. And I was like, so not impressed and this is a 12 volt battery so I don't know how long it was sitting on the shelf for but long enough that the battery went Bleh! so then came the search for batteries check the source they thought they had them turns out they don't and they don't even carry it, it turns out um, it's an a27 battery that you need for this particular one so if you crack your remote open and you see a, a little battery that looks like this that's called an A27 and uh, you won't find it at Walmart, Best Buy, uh, I mean, pff, a few different places you won't find it at. We found these at Canadian Tire of all places. So if you are in Canada, Canadian Tire is your best friend for this battery. Um, they had about three or four of them on the shelf, so I bought two of them, $5.99 a piece. Now that's pretty good for an Energizer. Um, an Energizer will last a long, long time. And for how often I'll be using my winch, um, you know, that's actually kind of good that it's 12 volt. So anyway, uh, for now, I've got it hooked into this little 7.2 volt battery. Um, now my winch only runs 2S, uh, but the box can run 2S or 3S. Uh, so, but don't put a 3S battery to it unless your winch is 3S compatible, which mine is not. So let's push the little pretty button. And she feeds out, which is awesome. I love this whole wireless thing. And A button brings it back in. And voila. So yeah, that works great. And to avoid accidentally hitting your buttons, it has a little slip cover that slides up and down now there's three screws that hold this back cover on and then the whole thing actually comes apart in different pieces um, but do be careful with it either way because if you snap your PC board inside you're screwed um, so be very careful removing that battery um, and then put the new one in and away you go type of thing right so pretty easy to change the battery um, you will find a little, uh, like a little rubber diaphragm that um, sits actually in this area. And uh, part of, of course, is there's an LED right on the circuit board at the back, and uh, it'll light up. And um, let me just unplug this, then I can push buttons. So B, A. So B brings it out, A sucks it back in. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm liking it. And it's got a little hooky thing here, a little um, cabinier typey hook. Um, so you can tuck it onto the side of the body of your vehicle or throw it, you know, in your pocket, whatever. I don't know. It's up to you wherever you want to hook the sucker. Um, now, the box is not waterproof, obviously. Um, does not come with any mounting stuff. I did have some 3M tape uh, that came with my S Dual the, or ESS Dual. Uh, sound kit that I didn't need for it so I used it and used both pieces of it to go the whole width across the box and then smack that in the front of my servo so I figured that was the best place for mounting it, best option anyways because where else am I going to throw it you know what I mean um, but that also brings it really close shortens up my wires uh, the amount of wire I actually saved by going to a remote kit um, just grabbing them here now my original, my, my winch originally came with its own like three-way switch and all that other jazz, which is like all this pile of junk, right? So if I unplug all this, so that came with my winch originally, and uh, I remember telling you guys I had to fix a wire in here, and then I hot glued the crap out of all this. So the wires are never going to break free again. But I can use this for, for other stuff, which is good. You know, this, it's a good quality three-way switch. So I can use it for running whatever type of things, right? But I saved that length of wire. I saved these two lengths of wire. 
and I save this length of wire and big mess of wires everywhere just by going to the remote winch. I mean, cost factor, I mean, it doesn't cost much for JST connectors, uh, but the thing is, is for more realism on your RC, the remote is great. Um, these things have about a 33 to 40 foot range. Um, I know my buddy and I, we've tested his out and it's about accurate. Um, and mine would be the same, I'd imagine. At least, you know, we'll see. I'm going to do some testing for distance at some other point, but I don't need to be that far away anyway, right? Uh, so I'll have more than enough range no matter what. But uh, for, for like 20, 25 bucks, a couple of dollars for shipping. Um, the dead battery kind of pissed me off that that was dead. Um, and I did complain to them about it, so I have no idea what they're going to do about it. But I'll let you know when I know, because that takes a couple of days to get an answer back. But everything is now kept up in here. This connector is like a Molex or Tamiya connector. I'm chopping that off, putting a different connector on. And where my wire snaked through here and behind the shock housing before is where this is going to go through. Uh, depending, of course, where I end up putting my 2S battery. Because I ordered in a very small 2S battery, and I don't know how small it is until it gets here. But, depending on its size is going to depend on where it gets mounted, which means this will either get fished through here, or I'll create a mounting system up in here. Because that will also help add a little bit of front weight too to the truck, which would be kind of nice. Because we all know these things lack front weight. Um, you know, which is fine. You know, let's just add that on there. Oh, not. Anyways, um, so yeah, it works great and everything. The build quality of the remote is actually really good too. Um, the box seems to be all right. No complaints there. Um, you do get two wires for winches. Uh, different winch, different hookup, right? Um, this is just a cheapy winch, so it has a JST hookup. This hookup is for like a worn, a lot of the worn winches I've seen, because eventually I'm going to go to a worn wrench, um, uses this plug. So then I would be able to disconnect that plug. And I could always use this to power something else that goes with the winch too, right? Like that would be kind of a neat thing where, um, well, what I'm thinking I could probably do um, is um, get the strobe. Right, so you know, like the whole tow truck thing, have a strobe going. So as you power it on, the strobe goes on, type of thing, and it goes off when you're not using it. I don't know. We'll figure something else. It's not a bloody tow truck. It's a military truck. So I'll figure, I'll figure something out for that. But overall, the the quality of this thing is pretty good. Um, the clicker is really good. They're really good clickers inside. Um, you know, I've had this apart obviously to change the battery. Um, the little clip is nice. It's actually pretty good quality clip and it's got the swivel on it too, which is nice. Um, but yeah, and it, and it does work, so that, that's good. Um, price, I couldn't beat the price. And I've been looking at these remotes for a while, different places, and Wish, believe it or not, had the best price, uh, even with shipping. Um, so I figured, well, grab the deals while you can and cross your fingers. And turned out, other than a dead battery, great deal. Uh, great little unit. Not waterproof though. Um, I don't think any of these are actually waterproof, but you can make it waterproof. You know, we know about plastic dip and other chemicals and stuff and other ways of doing things. So we'll see, but for now we'll uh, just leave it as is and go from there. So my, my switch that I had on the back, that was actually at the back of the truck. I'm going to actually put a different switch in there to run my lighting on and off. And I've, I've got a lot of plans for this. You're gonna see things progress as I go. Um, and uh, even upgrading to, you know, different tires and beadlock rims and, you know, all that jazz over time, right? Um, but um, anyways, yeah, so far so good. So thumbs up there. Um, and uh, let me know what you guys think. I, I would give this, I'm, I'm gonna give it a four out of five and I am really picky about this because I had to waste a lot of money and gas because I, I don't live in North Bay anymore so it's like a 20 minute drive there 20 minute drive back I had to drive to the mall nothing I had to you know go to um, Michael's nothing not even Michael's had these batteries um, of course I don't think they would carry something like that anyway um, went to the Dollarama um, nothing so it's like okay Canadian Tire is the last resort so I'll drive out to Canadian Tire 
Ah, uh, finally got them, right? Six dollars a piece, I'm in. Um, so yeah, and then of course the trip back home. So I mean, I, I wasted a lot of money and fuel and time and energy just to find a flipping battery, you know? Um, but uh, anyhow, that's how it goes. You know, it's part of the game, I guess, right? So, uh, but yeah, four, four out of five is where I'm at, definitely. Uh, minus my, you know, ranting about having to drive anywhere, it's still a four out of five because it came with a dead 12 volt battery, uh, which was really disappointing. Um, but um, it happens, I guess, and we'll see what Wish Support does in the end. I don't know what they're gonna do about it, but you know. Anyhow, uh, I guess I gotta modify this thing, but I'm waiting for the battery to show up anyhow before I figure out if I'm gonna snake it back through here or if I'm gonna, you know, do something with mounting the battery up in this area because it's there's some space free there that I can use. Um, I don't know how much. Uh, I got a little bit of space there I can play with. Um, but anyways, guys, that's it. That's all. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we can get this thing out on the trail soon. I'm hoping for this weekend if it's nice enough. Um, you know, got to go with the weather, too. So anyways, ciao!